The following contains extremely explicit content and is for mature audiences only. All characters and personalities are used for parody purposes. Well, how am I going to follow that? Briefly, I can. With, <laughs> with Pokemon. Yes, please ruin my childhood. <clears throat> Hey, ruined childhoods, get that trophy. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I'm even going to use my sexy voice. <laughs> do you have any that's, other? That's not sexy. I, right? Say, what, what else do you have? <laughs> well, it's always sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Filming broke for lunch, and, near, uh, and the nearby video game crew had just completed its mission. The cast from the show gathered around the craft services table, which had a great spread of food. Fancy cheeses, meats, wine, and bottled water. Uh, on the video game craft services, there was a crock pot full of mac and cheese and a trough of dingy water. Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur shared looks of disgust as they ate their meager offerings. We work hard too, Charmander said, the flame on the end of his tail growing a little bigger. On the other side of the studio, the three Pokemon heard laughter, and when they looked over, it was Pikachu with her bright yellow fur and rosy red cheeks. Bulbasaur growled in anger. She, she thinks she's so cool just because she's the star of a TV show. More people play our video game than watch that stupid show anyway. Yeah, we should knock her down a peg, Squirtle said with a twisted smile oozing across her face. The three of them huddled together, whispering their plan about the fall of Pikachu. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Pikachu was sent home for the day, but she never made it. Charmander used smokescreen. Pikachu lost her way. Squirtle used squirt to make the floor slick, and Bulbasaur used sleep powder. And down she went. The three of them carried her off. After about a half hour of travel, they reached their destination, a dark, dank room with stone walls and a faint drip of water in the background. In the middle of the room, there was a table. Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur carried Pikachu to the table. In the center was a hole, and they threaded Pikachu's tail through. Bulbasaur used vine whip to, ta uh, to tie the tail to a hook on the ground. <laughs> Y'all know where this is going? <laughs> kind of. Only in a sexy way. Mm. Wait, so it's not sexy? <laughs> I thought that was a porno. <laughs> Three, two. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> When Pikachu woke up, she couldn't see straight. Her back was on something hard, and she couldn't move her arms, legs, or tail. Her eyes were blurry, but she could make out the orange shape of Charmander. He was sitting at the end of the table, sharpening his nails and his tail lazily swinging back and forth. As Pikachu's eyes came into fo focus, she saw vines on her wrists and her ankles. She couldn't arch her back because her tail was tied down as well. Hey, Peek, Charmander said, standing up, mm -hmm. running his claws over a cold metal slab. Sorry it had to come to this, but you needed to be punished. <laughs> As, Char <laughs> As Charmander spoke, Pikachu focused on the items on the metal table. Riding crops, paddles, gags, dildos. What was happening? Charmander saw her eyes widen, and, she let, and he let out a menacing laugh. From the shadows, Pikachu saw Bulbasaur and Squirtle approach. Pikachu was so happy, she started yelling, Help me, help me! Charmander's gone crazy, help! The two, mo the two Pokemon were silent for a second, then laughed while they joined Charmander at the table. It was time to play. Dun-dun-dun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Part two, the dun-dun-dun. Okay. <laughs> Squirtle squatted down between Pikachu's legs and lightly blew on her clit. Pikachu inhaled sharply. Squirtle reached out her turtly claw to spread Pikachu's fuzzy yellow lips and kept blowing. Squirtle watched as the slit kept clenched, trying to escape. Squirtle opened her mouth and let out a steady, pulse, a steady pulsing stream of water on Pikachu's sensitive flick bean. <laughs> Pikachu tried her best not to react, but her bright red cheeks gave her away, and that gave Squirtle an idea, and she went over to the toy table. Pikachu's heart was racing, and her yellow velvet gash was slick with juices. I totally forgot I wrote that line. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. <laughs> Squirtle returned with something shiny in her hand. It had a red jewel on the end of it that matched Pikachu's cheeks. <laughs> I was going to say, at least I know you all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> On the other, on the other end looked smooth and cold. Do 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 do. Squirtle found a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Squirtle put it in her mouth to lubricate it. Squirtle then put the tip, uh, the tip of it, to Pikachu's mouth and told her to spit. Mm. Pikachu spit on the end, but it was a sad light spray. 
Squirtle got angry and slapped Pikachu across the face and grabbed her by her chin. Spit on it like you fucking mean it. <laughs> Pikachu, scared and wild, spit all over the top of the plug. That's better, you slut, said Squirtle. She disappeared under the table and then rubbed the small end against Pikachu's asshole. And she went crazy with panic. Ah, no, no, no! Ah! She yelled as Squirtle jammed the butt plug into her puckered chocolate pocket. A bolt of lightning came through Pikachu's tail and hit the ground. Squirtle had an idea. She grabbed a Hitachi vibrator off the table and put, <laughs> and put it on high, resting her undercarriage against Pikachu's tail and put the end of the vibrator to the red jewel of the butt plug. Pikachu cried out in another... <laughs> Pikachu cried out and another bolt of lightning went through her tail. The intense vibration made Squirtle lightheaded and the shock went through her small half shell as she squirted all over, carrying an electric charge with it. Bulbasaur settled himself between Pikachu's legs and used Vine Whip against the throbbing thunder switch. Pikachu pulled her wrist down as hard as she could and tried to use gnaw to break the vines. Charmander slapped her hard across the face <laughs> and her arms snapped back into place. Do 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 Charmander found a spider gag. <laughs> Space bar. Space bar. <laughs> it came off the toy table and it was secured behind Pikachu's teeth. A spider gag is a ring gag to keep your mouth open and Charmander straddled Pikachu's face and centered his throbbing lizard cock with the gag and eased himself in. The ring didn't allow all of Charmander to enter Pikachu's mouth, but it was enough for the head to reach the back of Peek's throat. Pikachu was in sensory overload. Thunderclap after thunderclap, Squirtle kept coming and vibrating Peek's bejeweled brown eye, while Bulbasaur kept working the circuit breaker. <laughs> he moved from the peak of Pearl and slammed his vines deep into her electric socket. <laughs> <laughs> Charmander slammed his hot fire poker into Pikachu's mouth while she choked and drooled all over it. He was almost ready to come, getting closer and closer, and he pulled out and came all over Pikachu's face. The thick orange, the thick orange, orange as fire cum blocked up Pikachu's nose, and Charmander shoved his dick back into her mouth. Now Pikachu couldn't breathe at all, and her muffled screams just made Charmander enjoy the face fucking even more. When he pulled out, he saw tears streaming down her face. Charmander reached down gently to wipe a tear away from Pikachu's eye and brought it to his mouth and licked it off. <laughs> Pikachu began crying harder and choking, trying to clear her nose. Everyone seemed to rotate positions. Squirtle, in one quick motion, pulled the metal, the metal red jewel out of Pikachu's ass and then put it in her own. <clears throat> Sharing is caring. <laughs> She waddled her way to the top of the table and rested herself just above Pikachu's head. Bulbasaur took his vines and moved them to Pikachu's electric waist chute. Charmander went to the toy table. Do -do -do -do. Charmander found an American challenge. If you don't know what that is, look it up, but I am not to be blamed for the results. Charmander rested the, rested the American challenge on Pikachu's loosened lips. Squirtle began working her turtle labia and squirted all over Pikachu's face. So she again couldn't breathe. At that time, Charmander filled, Pikachu, uh, filled Pikachu's Pikachu with the American challenge while Bulbasaur worked the asshole. <laughs> Pikachu couldn't take any more. She was so full and she could barely breathe with the ocean-like waves coming one after another from Squirtle's Mariana Trench. <laughs> I get it. Her body protested, her body protested, but in her mind she began to like it. The depraved actions and the helplessness, Pikachu just let it all go. Remember, she still has the ring gag in her mouth. <laughs> the whole building lit up with electricity. From the distance, a few roads down, Ash saw the light show and knew where his beloved Pokemon was. He turned the car around and raced toward the abandoned building. He ran in, stop! Ash screamed as he barged in, and the three Pokemon pounced on him at once, angry at the interruption. Bulbasaur wrapped Ash's whole body in vines, and he was helpless. Bring him here, Charmander demanded, and he centered Ash in front of Pikachu. Squirtle unleashed Ash's flaccid cock and started sucking it. Ash couldn't help it, but with a soft turtle tongue against his member, he began to get hard. So hard. Squirtle got out of the way. And Charmander grabbed Ash's hips and pushed him into Pikachu's Pika Puss. <laughs> Neither of them wanted to like it, but it was something they had both been secretly wanting since season one. 
Ash couldn't take it anymore and came so hard it coated Pikachu's insides, and she could feel every hot stream pumping into her. When he was done, Charmander and Bulbasaur let him go. The vines released Pikachu, and they were left in a slump of cum and shame. From then on, the video game Pokemon always had the best craft services table.